Oh boy! Look what it is! Oh boy, of course. Overloaded and encoded. Um, I don't know how to fix that. But let's just get started. Um... This is cool. I like this. Glory Han. Oh, that's... <laughs> uh, I, I love... Ooh, I like that. That's... Uh, uh... <laughs> I like the act. I, I like the fact that the, that there is Dutch, that they don't like translate the background stuff because that adds to immersion. Mmm, somewhere underwater. <laughs> oh jeez. Whoa, I. The sprite's moving. That's fucking cool. <laughs> well, 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 if it doesn't the catch of day comes, I don't know what accent to give him, or I, I don't know. Oh. Not like you've had, not like you, not like you have ever the uniform, Ishmael, what gives? I thought I'd go of it out in the seven Z's. Oh boy. Fucking cool. This is like the most polished in the entire Riffian community. Yeah, I, I don't know what I'm saying. Don't give me your. Uh, <laughs> cease your blather and your bull of feathers. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my god. <laughs> so cool. Tss, tss. I blather because I care, me Arthur. You had us all worried, truly, even the captain. Of course, then we took a gander at the nose. A bloody nose. Do you mean to say the cop knows? Oh no. I don't remember what happened last time. I don't. I personally understand why you'd be away for a couple of days after, of course. Running from the law to be quite difficult on those stubby little leg of yours. What are you? Breaking our code of honor in the first place, Moshara. That be breaking his old heart. Oh boy. There we go. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. <laughs> why don't why don't you quit poking your beak into places that don't belong before I pluck your feathers out one by one and stuff them in the pillow? And just now be how be you making those funny squiggly set what the fuck does that mean? Oh the animation of the fucking sprites is so cool. God damn it. Oi, touch me feathers and you'll be sorry, fish breath. Asshole. Nonce. Land love, oh boy. Squawk, he did not just say that. Oh boy. I'll have your head on the pate, pike you here. Shut your... Oh, both of yous, okay. I have... I don't know how to do it. I have a boy. Shut your bikes, both of yous. Holy shit. Boss. <clears throat> there is Captain, whatever do you need? Ishmael Milati, I thought I made myself very clear when I took you in. Pardon me, Captain, I'm just try I still be trying to get the swearing thing under control, little habits die hard. <laughs> oh boy, I can't do that. Gross, you're hoisting the wrong sail, boy. Oh, cursing be one thing, but is your crew don't take kindly to feckless, unprovoked violence? See, pulling a little of last at gunpoint like that don't reflect too kindly on the smen of the sea. Any lesser captain would settle for no less thing, ain't you, by your fins, or having your keel hauled? You're in here, really in for it now, Ishmael. Oh, boy. Ishmael and Ahab in the same room. That's interesting. Yeah, uh... Well, uh Moby Dick's really good. Read Moby Dick. Really fucking good novel. Absolutely amazing masterpiece. Seeing as this is your first jaunt over the great line of the Syndicate rule book, the great Ahab's willing to let this one go. Really? Really? On one condition, lad. 
See, I got this great job planned. Absolutely grand. And I need all hands on deck for this one. Oh, oh boy. And seeing as the big guns are in the pillory, that unfortunately means you a lot. What are the warnings of the weak and weary, though? Cross the ab again and you and kill Hull and you'll be just the start. Thank you, Captain. You won't regret it, I swear on me heart. Don't go thanking me yet, you sorry sack of seals. You pull this one off and every set you learn is gonna be fixing that little old lady's store. Till then you'll be swabbing the poop dick. Are you kidding me? I wasn't even the one who smashed up the place. It was that blasted out and his spotted friend that did the deed. That wouldn't have happened if you listened to me for once in your life, sonny, now would it? You said it, Captain. Uh, Captain, the new, who's the new fellow in the corner over there? Our ticket into the place for fixing the loot. What was your name again, lad? Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's this dude. It's, oh, I remember you, um... Camo, August Camo at your service. Camo? No, Kamau. Jesus Christ. He's right, you'd be saying that wrong, Ishmael. It's obviously Kamwa. Oh, Jesus. Not even, I'm probably not even pronouncing it right then. <laughs> it's Kamu. Why does no one get it right? Oh boy, there's some stuff going. Stop wagging your tongues, get over here and listen, good, we got a job to do. Hmm. Oh boy, oh boy, there's a fucky, okay. I love this, oh man. Oh man, I can't, oh boy. I can't wait to fucking release this publicly, god damn it, this game's really good. It's, um, March 1st, by the way, 3.05 uh, p.m., and as you YouTube track seven minutes from that, you'll get when I start. I'm on the verge of collapsing. My bones are aching, my vision's blurry. Oh, we're back to Alex, are we? <laughs> Whether it's because I'm just that exhausted, or because my body can't take much more punishment, I don't know. But every time I hit the mat, it just gets a little comfier, and just gets a little harder to get up again. The fuck? Oh... Okay, yeah, they're fighting. I don't remember what voice I gave you. It wasn't a ruse accent, so... Again. Lord, let me know where me looks none the worse for wear. Uh, of course he doesn't. I was literally gonna say that, dude. <laughs> I haven't been able to hit him once, after all, even though he promised Ryle he'd go easy on me. Are you just gonna lie there with mouth agape like... That's not the voice. Are you just going to lay there like... Oh my god, what the fuck's going on? I, I do the fucking voice for a while and it gets stuck. And like, um... What? I'm gonna just go in the lay there with mouth agape like a baby bird. Okay. Okay, give me a minute. This is a life or death situation, Toscan. Criminals are not going to wait for you to turn the flight from Dreamland. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm not doing this right. I don't know, it's Owen, right? I can't even tell. Fucking cray, I'm fucking up. Voice acting skills are going bye bye, apparently. I just. I just think I spring. Oh boy. I don't remember him being that buff. That seems a bit of a retcon. Push myself up off, off of the mat, immediately yelp in pain, falling right back down. Terrible. <laughs> That's not possible, buddy. And you will keep doing so if you... And you and you will keep doing so if you don't keep your guard up in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Paying attention to opponents is, imp is as important as punching and kicking. If you do not... Shakes his head. There are worse things than bruises. Yeah, in, in this situation, yeah. Oh, there's scars. I'm inclined to believe him. What the fuck do you mean, scar? Oh, on him. Okay. Sit up. <laughs> oh man, and all the animation, the fucking god. Sit up straight, panting all the while. Are you not tired? Like I'm like, like half your age. Body is a temple. Take care of it in early stage, and the knowledge will take care of you. Yeah, exactly. 
Thought it might be a town. Mine's more of a garbage disposal. <laughs> No self-degradation, mister. None of that. That's how the suicidal, that's how bad thoughts start happening. None of that shit. And see me as sanitation. God. God damn it. I wasn't expecting to laugh this much. You must learn discipline. Carefully weigh my options. Alright, process to break any bow. Oh. I will do my very best. And that my fate assume the stance you've been trying to teach me on morning. Key word here being assume, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Oof. Alright, hands raise it eyes. Okay, cool. Reminds me of the boxing lessons I took as a kid. Ew. You were a boxing kid, that's nasty. Horse wasn't prepared to fight a deadly bird with more battle scars than my dad's old car, but I don't need anything good. Hmm. Whoa, what the fuck? That was something. Your form is pauses scrutinizing me. Adequate. Coming from him almost feels like praise. He takes a similar position himself. Fighting is very much like that. That's not true. I love that anticipating your partner's actions and reacting in turn. Okay, yeah, but okay. Then when your guard is that when guard is down, you strike. I'm not sure ever seen a dance that involved a striking. Master Bivard said similar thing long ago. Did you train him too? He nods. For years. He was interested in learning, dedicate. What the fuck are you doing? Very insistent on talking, much like you. Made funny sound than hitting Matt, much like you. <laughs> he chuckles, I'm so used to him being serious to this point that it feels unnatural, like a sound that simply should not exist. Trying to get me angry? I am trying to make you punch instead of talking ear holes off. Oh boy. Oh, <laughs> here it comes. Oh my god. No, no, not a Falcon Punch reference. Fuck off. Take a swipe at his smug little face. It's not a little face. Without skipping a beat, he clutches my fist with, with his claw locked in place. Try yanking away, but he's got a firm hold on it. Yeah, he's been doing this for years, dude. God, he's... Oh, hey, the dog's barking. The dog's fucking whining again. This is why I haven't been doing videos recently. Because there's a new dog in the house that is not like Gus and Oliver, that just keeps barking and barking and barking because it's a fucking piece of shit. Tell me, what went wrong? I, uh, hesitated. No, we do not announce our attack. Exactly. Mm hmm. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Master Bavard and be living in a cartoon world where we, but we fight the real criminals. So wise not to scream attack names and vases. Noted. Good. And you let go of my hand now. There's his eyes. No. Pretty please. Prettiest the pleases have no effect on me. Upon it the mobilize your arm, what did you do? Oh, I wanna I just I hate I hate the dog. I hate the dog so much. I hate the dog so much. Jesus Christ, I hate her. I throw another punch with my free hand, but that one gets snatched up by Milo as well. Wasn't even looking at it. Connection. Both arms. Oh boy. He stares at- yeah, uh, stares at me down while I wriggle in place. He's enjoying this. Of course he is. Glock is sticking. Alright, fine. Wants to play dirty, I can play dirty too. I knew it! I fucking knew it! You're going for a ball shot, it's not gonna work. Take a deep breath, pull back my leg, and never run you for as hard as I can. Right into his groin! It's like hitting a brick wall. Doesn't flinch and he doesn't let go. I stab. But he does let go, I stagger backwards. Go thinking. Ineffective, but great, but good start. I look up at him. How did you not... What? Feel pain? In internal t Oh. 
yeah, that's definitely a thing in this in this universe. I didn't think about that. <laughs> Everyone has different strengths and weaknesses. Nothing else I expected to hear. Well, at least I wasn't expecting him to be this blunt about it. What are yours? That's... You're, you're stupid, dude. He, that's not gonna happen. Strengths. Carrion grows a short beak made for tearing flesh from bone. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Evolution. Gold nature, but not beak. Exercise. Caution when aiming for head. Pauses. Do not warn you to lose fingers. Whoa. Morbid. Have you ever had to... No, I am not barbarian. I'll still be keeping an eye on that beak of his. Jesus, the eyes are fucking animated too. This is so cool. I hope you are not always this easily du- Frighten this easily, Duskhound. Just wondering how Raoul turns out so happy-go-lucky when you over here worry about folks that might chop my fingers off. Master Brevard is- Idealist! To him, if he cannot perceive danger, it does not exist. He is lucky to be skilled and resourceful. Shakes his head wistfully. Still has much to learn about self-preservation, with that in common. So aren't you a sight? Why aren't you a sidekick? You'd be way more helpful to pin a fight than I ever could hope to be. Looks away from him in his brows. Expecting to explain, but he stays silent for a few agonizingly long moments that give me the impression I just bravely offended him. Assum assumptions about people are not a good thing to do. I am only fit enough to teach, not fight. I think this might be a sensitive topic, exactly. Yeah, for what it's worth, I think you're an excellent teacher. Focuses at me again, despite his stern expression. There's a funny little twinkle in his eye. I am best, I am best instructor, instructor in Batavia. Mm, yeah, I forgot about that. Forget this isn't Batavia, because it's been such a fucking long time. <laughs> I will teach you everything I know. You are not allowed to die under my tutelage. I don't know whether it's a promise or a threat. Probably both, let's be honest. In turn, I will only ask one thing. Shoot. Keep Master Bavard safe, but I cannot. That's what I am here for, right? I mean it. He may be smart inventor, but he is not brightest bulb in clan books. I'd correct him on the idiom, but I don't want to end up on the mat again. I didn't know you two were so close. I just assumed you were his butler. I am many things. Bodyguard, teacher, mixologist legally allowed to officiate weddings. Lotho, there is one of them. How far back do you guys go? 23 years, okay. It's been one hell of a ride. 23 years. Okay, so they said this takes place in 2038, right? Something like that. 2035? I don't remember, but it was one of those two. It's, it's just weird. Because, yeah, uh, I... It's just crazy to think that the 2030s are literally next decade. Bruh. I hear the hiss of the automatic do door shutting behind the Rottweiler as he struts into the room with the biggest of grins and a large colorful notebook. Now his sticker is on to make an elementary school kid jealous. That glitter? Oh well it is, a container's worth at least. So I am late, I had some work for the company to attend to. These are how it uh <laughs> Oh shit! Fucking throat. Close it out for some reason. What's our new recruit doing, Milo? Ah, what the fuck was that? Jesus. Felt as well as you did on your first and first training day. Yowsh. No broken bones as of yet, however. Well, that's good. Broken bones? It's a long story. Long stories, he stubbed toe on the up training hall. Had to spend several days in infirmary. Anyways, there's a notebook at me. We have some very important, some very important to discuss. I could honestly use a break for a week. Teach doesn't seem to think I've earned one yet, though. I can see Milo twitching ever so slightly from the corner of my eye. 
What about my training? Crow was in a sigh. It would appear we are done for today. The past week has taught me any as an indication. I think I'm in for another five consecutive hours of hearing about Wiles' heroic deeds. Oh, so he's a narcissist then. He's a self-aggrandizing narcissist, apparently. Train is important, but so is presentation. Oh my fucking god, I don't like him already. Presentation? People need more than just protectors, spot with any of his heroes, I can- No, they don't! I mean, he is a symbol of Jezebel's strike of fear into the heart of every criminal in this city, that is it. They don't. They don't need that. It seems like you're just power, you're fucking glory, you're a glory lust, you're a glory whore. I think I know where this is going. Am I getting a costume? Can't fight crime wearing slacks, dust count. What a fucking shitty name. His grin widens as he slams the notebook on the nearest flat surface. I feel more excited than he was the other day during my five hour orientation. Ew, I don't like this dude. Get in the, I'm not kidding. <laughs> okay. So the living creates some costume designs with fitting your new identity. So that's what he's been so busy with this past week. We obviously don't get to choose it though, because they already decided it for us, the creators. No wonder he left all the fundamentals up to my new job, Milo. Did you design your own outfit? Sure it is, whatever I enjoy. Oh no. I figured that would be more Milo's area of expertise. Milo's shuffling behind us, putting away our training equipment. Look in his direction, he seems to be dreading this just as much as I am. I made some revisions for combat effectiveness, but the design itself is Master Bavard's. He insisted on it. Oh uh, no. Not getting a carbon copy of mine. I believe a proper outfit should bring out your own unique qualities. That does nothing to ease my anxiety. Just keep in mind that these are final. I only make a few little tweaks here and there. Thank God. Alright, show me what we got. Brow leans in close to me, his shoulder touching mine. He's wearing the same cologne as last week and this is the Bruins store. Here he opens his notebook and starts flipping through the pages. They're all filled with colorful drawings and pencil marker, markers and crayon. First few pages seem to be filled with prototypes for weapons and gadgets. Soon enough he gets to the fashion doodles. Going through them pretty quickly, but honestly don't look they look don't they don't look too bad. He's got an eye for style at least. Seeing as you're new, though, I figure we get you, we get you through plenty of protection and armor, you know, to keep you safe. That sounds good. May survive my first field assignment after all. Lands on a page with a drawing of me wearing. Wow, that's a thing. Okay, I was gonna say, it looked like it was in English, but there's definitely Dutch in here. Just think of some of the more defensive side will still terrify your adversaries. That is the most over-the-top and ridiculous armor design I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Oh, uh, wow, this is quite something. Alright, how do you like it? Personally, you like that well, the potions. Jesus Christ. Oh, good lord. His eye uh, eyes me excited like kitchen up really is our project to a parent. And I don't want to hurt his feelings, but this isn't going to go on the fridge anytime soon. It looks pretty cool, yeah. Uh, the thing is in boots. Mini axes. Yeah, the, wait, those are axes? I, I mean, do you think maybe it's a, you know, a bit much? There's a paw across his chin. Uh, I suppose it might be a tad tricky to move around any ass. Not to worry though, I've thought of everything. I'm feeling you might what might think this way is to take a liberty to draft a few alternative designs. Mind you, there aren't there, just lay lists developed and fine. Next one is a few more bells and whistles, just living me more freely. Phew, I was a little worried, but thankfully he's got a little self awareness. I'm sure the next one will be less. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my, oh, it's actual Dutch, I love that. Oh, it's so good. It's actual Dutch on here, so, oh man. They didn't fucking, 
They didn't fucking use fake ones. I did. Oh, uh, it's all. Yep. This is all real. Yeah. I can read it, but I'm not gonna read it for you. You're gonna have to figure that out for yourself. <laughs> Lot less. Full we'll stop. What even is this? Um. Now this one doesn't be quite quite as much protection. No fucking shit. How does this offer any protection? <laughs> But you'll be fast and flexible enough to dodge any coming attack. You'll be untouchable. I'll die of embarrassment before you even get close enough to attack. Assuming anyone would even want to come anywhere. Assuming anyone would even wants to come anywhere remotely near me looking like that. Not so sure about this man's sense of style anymore. Yeah, no shit. Hmm. Do you maybe have some little more. Modest? Well, yes. In fact, this next one it may be a good middle ground. I think I felt a little less scared when I had a, when I had a pistol pointed at my face. Field. What the fuck? Oh uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> really, dude? <laughs> oh my god, really? This dude's a fucking loser. Jesus. This is... Thought this was a flash some perhaps more traditional would see you better. Something typically bizarre. <laughs> yeah, um Um no. <laughs> I mean yeah, this is like traditional Dutch shit, like those are uh, god damn it. Looks at me to a lot and a bit of smile on his face. His eyes are twinkling like blues when they dig up a famous model's dirty secret. Oh god, Blue. I remember, I do not like that character. Either he's lost it or he's trying to pull some kind of prank. It is a pretty alphabet. I think I'll leave, leave, I think I'll leave wearing dresses like this to Willem. I am not a maid. Looks me a little more seriously. Maybe this was a bit too ordinary. What about, what about this is ordinary? <laughs> There's his throat. This one, loose page out of the sketchbook. It's not me and the sketch. It's oh, is this the people me when this if they could see you make it? Well, how'd, that, how'd that get in there? <laughs> Snatches the page away before I thought to take it all in. Don't think Milo was kidding when he said the boss was an idealist. Anyways, my final sign. This was everything. Please, no more. The, the, what the fuck? Oh my god, that's just, that's great. Uh, the fact that there's actual German in here is really fu- No, no, Dutch, it keeps- <laughs> That P.S. I mean your outfit. With this fashion crime, I will not allow. This one doesn't want to work either, I'll have to go back to the drawing board. Actually, a lot of ideas we can still try. No, this man cannot be allowed to continue. I'm putting an end to this right now. Give me that. Oh boy, I yanked the sketchbook from my overly excited boss's hands. Rel tilts his head and cocks an eyebrow. Marker. Oh yes. Hands would be a pink one. Perfect. Oh boy. <laughs> I flip to the nearest empty page. Clearly I have to take matters into my own hands. Well, if you want to sketch out some of your own ideas, be my guess. Let me tell you, though, fashion design is not easy. Like you would know. Like you would know. Yeah, you demonstrated that clearly enough. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think I got this. Well, I gave me plenty of ideas of what not to do, but there were a few golden nuggets in some of the designs. I have some ideas. Yeah. And it moves all on its own. A little bit of this, maybe something over here, and... I'm doing it, I'm in the zone. This is gonna be great. Moments later, I'm pretty sure I've nailed it. What the hell do you mean? You know, this should do. Yeah, let's get you back to Riley. He was genuinely excited. Oh, I would see you came up with. Watch him with bated breath. You being a vigilante was gonna be a tough job, but I had no idea I'd have to avert a disaster of such magnitude this early in my career. <laughs> At least everything's settled now. Or so I assume. I sort of like the guard down as a devilish smirk stretching across Ralph's face. Turns it up around, around and around in his paws. I see, perhaps we could reinforce it here. 
Splash of color there. Uh, yeah, that should be nice and comfortable. Would, would, would it be stretchy enough? Mm -hmm. My little pen, if you please. My little tosses of the pen. He catches it with that look and immediately begins scribbling wildly. Oh no. <laughs> Are you gonna be alright? Alright, alright, please. Spot, we're talking. We're talking. You're talking to a four times a member of the innovator of the year winner. My designs are hard this very city. A little outfit doesn't scare me. The ones I've seen so far scare me plenty. Uh, okay then, let me know if you need anything. Happy to, um. Raise the thumb, not even look in my direction. His tail's wagging so fast, I fear he might take off any second. Help. I will fold his arms. No sense getting through to him when he is in, when he is in state such as this, and then through his frenzy. Does this kind of thing happen often? Once or twice every few months, less through his locked in room for two days. Wow, oh, must have been important business. We're trying to design the robot to make soup. So, had to first bark after Master Bavard set off fire alarm. Took three weeks to get the metal stains out of the carpet. <laughs> Oof. Milo shudders, the feathers out, sticking out of the top of his head, rallying left and right like a metronome. God, the fucking. That's a. I like that. That's a good. <laughs> Three sentences in this story is taking more, more turns than a roller coaster. He clears his throat. Fancy cold theater tea? This could take some time. I won't say no to that. I can run that make a sun. No need, I will go. Don't you want to take a break? We're at it for a while. Hell, I'm pretty one of myself. Only reason I'm asking is like I need a change of scenery. Only thing tired is ear holes from constant talking. Making coffee and tea is one of my many duties as butler. I do not neglect duty. I just feel bad making you everything, you know. I do not feel bad. You get to play. You get paid plenty for it. But on the other end of the room, the screen flashes. I hear a soft ring. Milo gets a shake of his head while Wow refuses to look out from his sketching. Suppose coffee and tea will have to wait. Oh boy, something bad is going down in the water. What's going on? We have color. Except color. Oh boy, who is it? Screen flashes again. Um, hello? Hi, is this working? Video calls a little blurry, I can't really tell what I'm specifically looking at. Adjust screen, please, we cannot see you. Oh, silly me, of course. Who the fuck is this? There's some more shaking before Fenn's face. Who the hell? Glasses make her eyes look ten times bigger than they actually are from this angle. Well, if it isn't Mimi, your feathers are looking quite radiant today. New shampoo, perhaps? Did you just say Mimi? Oh my gosh, Mr. De Rouge, Rouge is there as well. I, I see you found this address as well, after all. Uh, yeah, thanks. I did. Who? The fuck? Oh, it's 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 her. It's her. Mimi. What is nature of call? Is Mr. Is Mr. Donhan around by any by any chance? But quite unlike him to not answer any calls. He's usually so diligent about things. Milo's eyes flick to Rao for a moment. All we can hear is the bosses scribbling. I find it really funny that an ancestor of Cliff. Ends up helping a fucking vigilante girl. <laughs> that is really funny to me. I don't know why. Preoccupied. Nature of call, please. Dearest Mimi, I have a heart. Life's short enough as it is. One on spins fussing, fretting, and grumbling. You'll get wrinkles. Life is too short for frivolities as well. Nature of call. No, I, no, I called you because we got a very, we received a very strange card in the post today. Oh, I think I got that one too. Apparently, there's some real estate scam going around. Well, that only true. You no, know, this one came directly from the Saltwater Syndicate. Now, there's a name I, I hoped I wouldn't hear again, though I suppose it was only a matter of time. Holds up a little red piece of paper, no bigger than a credit card. There's a cute little anchor drawn it. Oh boy, an anchor. I wonder what that's supposed to be. Calling card. <gasps> he seems sketched to stop sketching and move into a stand right behind me. That seems to be the case, yes. How'd you control this after all, Mr. Donhound? What does it say? Here's her throat. Ahoy! All me liver. All me liver. Ivy. 
lily-livered mateys at Optigulk. Batten down the hatches for the fight for the heist of your measly lives. Is this a call-on card or a movie ad? The sake of con for ye and yours, and you best believe we're be given no quarter. All your riches will be ours for the taking of the pretty little dress, too. Impression. Oh, she was doing an impression. Okay, god damn it. Impression is frighteningly accurate. I can't disagree there. They all fit that in a card that- they fit all that in a card that small? Indeed they did! Such pretty handwriting as well. Mm. In any case, I uh, trust you want to understand the predicament I found myself in now. Need someone to unguard you to prevent the items from being stolen. Surprised he caught all that. Why are you surprised? This is his fucking job. So quick on the uptake, yes, that is, that is exactly it. Unfortunately, I'm not in exactly in a position to contact the authorities directly. We have a new collection on the way, and any scene called now might be enough to convince our backers to let us go. So subtlety is the name of game. I don't think you'll find any here. Yeah, pretty much. Not with Wiles' tight rubber suit. What are you thinking, Milo? They suggest doing plain clothes reconnaissance to ascertain threat and secure the perimeter before making rash decisions. Good, very well. The children's prank, but we will have to be ready if situation goes south. The sound can go. What? Are you sure? Come on, Milo, it's just recon. Spots got ears and eyes, doesn't he? It'll be a good opportunity to see what he's made of. Syndicate, if the syndicate does a job, we'll be right or right, we'll be right behind him. Probably spying him with the drawing. Still a project to get back to. Your opinion, your opinion thus called. My very first mission is to protect millions of euros worth of art. How exactly do I do recon? Our training didn't quite cover that. Not to worry, Mr. De Rouge. It's actually quite a simple matter. All you need to do is scatter around the gathering for any suspicious activity. Here, yeah, particularly close watch on the money talks down. It's easily the single most valuable item in our collection at this time. I already had a runaway member of the syndicate, Saltwater Syndicate, though not a particularly gifted one, so you know what to look out for. They're not all gonna talk like pirates, are they? And if I see anything suspicious, I just report back over the radio? Precisely. We will monitor the situation and take action when needed. Avoid physical confrontation if possible. You are not ready. As much as that stings, it's probably true. If I'm post play undercover security guard, I think they'll be okay. Wonderful! I'm sure you did a splendid job, Mr. Duskhound! She giggles. Is my code name that funny? And all of a sudden, I wonder if I could listen to some of Miles' suggestions after all. Oh, heavens no, it's not very exciting! Reminds me when I first met Mimi. Well, then, I shall leave the garret in your very capable hands. Oh boy, and there goes her. God, they, my throat. All these D voices, both. Well, two D voices. With that, you close the call. My Lawas turns to me immediately. Before you go, let me give you let me give you earpiece the radio contact. He takes out a little box from one of the large cabinets and hands me a small device. It just looks like a regular earbud. It has a small switch and a big button in the middle. Turn on the switch to, uh, to establish radio connection. After that, simply push the talk. Put it in my ear, though. I'd leave it off for now. If it didn't feel like a spy before, I sure as hell do now. Jesus, what's going on with me? Well, good luck in the mission, Duskyan. I believe in you. Oh, boy. Rather gives me a firm pat on the shoulder before returning to his sketchbook. Oh boy. Again, I find this here to be such a shameless garbage reference. I hate it so much. I leave Milo and Raoul to their task to make my way out, make my way out of the mansion. Milo was kind enough to arrange a fancy new bicycle for me, but I'm not sure. But I'm sure he just wants to get me more exercise. It's nice to have a rival of transportation again, though. Shippersburg has always had amazing bike infrastructure and biking is usually the best at driving, especially during rush hour. It's actually funny, because that's true. I'm pretty sure there's true of Amsterdam as well. 
Their dedicated bicycle highway is completely free of car traffic that cut the city that could actually this connect the city center to all major districts. I'm pretty sure that's true in real life, maybe. I don't know. I doubt it though. The only method of transportation that's more efficient is taking the one or trains, but I'm not made of money now. Those don't exist. Those those don't exist in reality, obviously. I mean the the canals are a thing and they do boat tours and stuff, but like that's how my bike when I was uh, I am all alone on this mission. Wonder if it'd be okay if I brought someone along. It's only recon, right? I'll look less conspicuous at the front with me to check out the gallery. More importantly, it might actually steal my nerves. Mind Amelia goes for Lou. For one, they love art, at the very least. They love the idea of loving art. Blech. Ew, 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 ew. I hate people like that. Fuck him. I'm fairly sure they're off work today. And I... Whatever. I'll give him a call. Why are you... F why aren't you friends with him? Like, seriously, why are you friends with this Lou character? They're such a superficial, vapid... God, I don't like that person. I don't remember who Ellen is. Like this? No, you're doing it all wrong. It's supposed to go the other way. It's 25, not 52. Do you mind moving the ladder a wee bit? I can't reach the bloody thing from here. Just where are the balloons? Where'd you put them last time? If I knew that, I wouldn't be bloody looking for them, would I? Am I interrupting something? Ugh. Sorry, hey Alex, we're having a we're having a little moment. Oh, is that Al? Hello, Al. Really says hello. Hey, hello. Do you have some free time right now? There's a little something I want to do, and I could use your company. What is it? It's a surprise. I hate surprises. Okay, I want to check out the Optibook. Oh, I'd love to. I think we're due for a break right now, anyway. They lower their voice. Willie's about to throw his back out over here. I ordered that. Cool. I'll meet you at the end then. See you there. Oh boy. To be honest, I'm probably butchering the pronunciation of the words, but I know, I know Dutch. I just pronounce it. It's a bit difficult. This. I'm glad it's the actual pride flag and not the ridiculous new ones. Thank God for that. The Hian is a miss. I knew Willem would be preparing for the anniversary, but it's but I had no idea it would be this much of a war zone. There's flags with a few balloons all over the place and Lou and Willem standing together at the heart of the chaos. Hey there, in love with Jim with the place. Oh, it's just the bloke I wanted to see. I need some I need help with some I need someone with lips to give me a <laughs> Okay then. Whoops. Uh, he keeps popping the balloons. They weren't made for sharp beaks. Discrimination, I say. Oh, for fuck's sake. I see. I'd be happy to help you out later if that's okay. I already made some plans. Right, Lou did tell me about it somewhere. Better be someplace safe. Well, this strict in the tizzy out what happened at the Brun. That misses the Bruins, please. Saltwater Syndicate's been causing a whole bunch of problems lately, you have. I don't know that, but... Yeah, but is it mostly big heists? Robin only doesn't seem like the air kind of thing. I'm just glad she's okay. She's the guest of honor at the parade tomorrow. Guest of honor, huh? Fancy. Thought you put up, thought you put on the mother hen act and uh, call it a day. Mother hen? Shite, I have to see if the dress still fits. <laughs> oh, good lord. Runs off into the storage room while Lou laughs. We'll be away for a bit. Alright, but if this corset rips because you wouldn't help me put it on, I'll put it on your tab. Oh boy. Oh boy. Fucking. Again, I love this background art. It's so fucking cool. God. Lou and I get off at the tr get off at the tram stop near the art gallery. It's a majestic building sandwiched between rows of fancy townhouses that are all at least 150 years old. Oh my god, the water's fucking waving. That is insane. Some are a little slanted. Rumor has it is the relative of the, Bat of the Batavian royal family used to live in Rome until recently. Like Payne has assured me, however, it's a rumor to draw more people to the area. 
no doubt to spend money at all. So that's going to the fancy brand stores. I'm sure they researched the matter at length to come to that conclusion, so I'm not going to question it. Even as we're walking in there, scrolling through Optigook's website, no doubt checking out what they have on display. I have to say, I'm surprised you of all be wanting to go to an art gallery. Your dinosaur speech really opened my eyes, so I'm trying to be more mature. Really now. Ew. 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 I know, I remember that, that conversation. It was fucking, it was fucking retarded. God. Oh yeah, social media. You should totally join social media. If that isn't a fucking hell site that breeds stupidity and short attention spans and so many other things. No, I ran the curator of the gallery last week. Quite literally. She gave me tickets and said I should go check it out. And all I was like, I mean, I thought I said I wasn't the least little curious about the money dress gown Finn I mentioned. Besides, if I'm gonna be old, I can at least pretend to be cultured like you. They're not cultured. They're not cultured. They pretend to be, but they very much aren't. They don't care about art. Like, they pretend they like the idea of liking art. And personally, people like that drawing up the fucking wall. But isn't it closed right now? Website says they're doing some renovations. Oh, she gave me, like, a special access tickets. Wow, look at you, making friends in my places, huh? You, uh, could say that. Better not tell the CEO, too. That would be all over the internet, all over the internet in minutes. Yeah, that's why I don't like this person. Lucky bastard. The most expensive thing I ever got for free was a sample at the perfume counter. They wave their hand and close an holographic screen in front of them as we near a pedestrian crossing. While we wait for the lights to turn green next to a heavily made up top here, Lady Lou finally turns to me. Why is it gonna bring up it? How are you holding up, Al? You know, with the job situation. I was hoping to look, help you look for something new, but I haven't seen you at the inn, and we barely even texted. I caught up with the kids myself, too. What fucking kids? Looks like I kind of did leave in a hurry after a little night out. Oh, Jesus. They have a... They have, oh, my God, no. Oh, my God. That, that Those kids are fucked. Those kids are fucking fucked for life. Oh, my God. Sorry, I've been recovering from that fish ain't my mother. It left a real pig. What the fuck does that mean? I think that one re review is putting it lightly. To be honest, I don't think I can ever unsee that scene where the lady gives birth. What the fuck? What did I tell you? Cult classic. True, only a cult could appreciate that kind of imagery. Oh my fucking god. Oh, so we're talking about horror movies now. And apparently our character's a fucking wuss. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm remembering, I'm remembering slowly. Uh, it's been a minute, I don't really, bleh. You know, like, the fact that, uh, horror movies are great, okay? I love horror. Phew. Really though, I've been doing great. I already got something new, I think. Just got through my orientation earlier this week. That's fast, what's the gig? Uh, I'm gonna start sweating a little. Quick, I'll just make something up. Working as a cleaner, I, uh, I clean things. My eyes may lose the briefest and let's just see if they're buying it. Oh my god, there's actual sweat fucking droplets. That's fucking cool. God is so cool. My eyes may lose the briefest and most just to, just to see if they're buying it. Clean what? Houses? Streets? Crime scenes? Shit, I knew I'd throw a more convincing story ahead of time. Get it together, you know they could smell fear. It's a private or residential thing. Oh, look, the lights turn green. We should walk now. I don't want to keep the cars waiting. Hurriedly waddled down the crossing. Luke quirks the brow at me, but follows anyway. You're not ashamed, are you? And there it is, my golden ticket. Slow down the pace, enough for Luke to catch up. If I kind of took this new job at inspiration, it's not exactly the kind of career move you shout from the rooftops. Luke puts their paw on my shoulder. This doesn't make sense. This just doesn't grammatically make sense. Being a cleaner is a perfectly normal profession. My cousins, friends, uncles, girlfriends, neighbors, former lover makes a fortune out of it. Okay, I hate this person. Or are you cleaning like sex stores or something? No, sex stores, just houses. Even if you were, there's no shame, and I'm glad you found something. Thanks, Lou. Someday I'll tell them the whole truth. For now, half of one will have to do. Not that they ever believe me. Hell, I even have trouble with it myself. Oh, boy. Thank <laughs> you.
What a terror. Oh my god. Here we are in the art gallery. Oh boy. More, uh, this shouldn't be in English. Bru are you joking? Are you joking? There's the fucking Chulpa up there. There's Chase with the fucking dead eyes. There, there's, there's fucking, there's, there's TJ, there's Carl, there's Leo. This is such shameless. Oh my god, there's even fucking smoke room. That's a literal CG from the game, I'm sorry. God, shameless, shameless fucking. Ooh, look at this, it's, it's referencing our old games, oh my. Why would these even be art pieces? Like, it doesn't make sense. Diegetically, it doesn't make... Like, what would this even be a scene of? What, what would this even be? Like, just horror art or something? I don't get it. So this is Optigook. It's even bigger on the inside. It's bigger on the inside. Is it? <laughs> it's even with a vastly more modern decor than I anticipated. For Ticha when I... Blah, 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 blah. It's been stuffy dark rooms with snobs scoffing at paintings, but this place is open, well lit, immaculately clean, and smells like mint and flowers. There's so many, there's so much on display here, I don't know where to look. Judging by the expression on their face, I think Phil Lou feels the same. Still, I can't let down my guard. Lots of stuff means a lot of potential targets for the syndicate. Look at all these works, how much more of these paintings cost more work we're making our lives. I don't know whether it's impressive or depressing, but you're probably right. Though my new job I might be able to pay off. Pay off. Pay one off in five lifetimes of ten. Well, I've seen an article about that one. That one, that one was in a video. That one's just a blank kid. Ew. <laughs> ew, 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 ew. Fucking postmodern art. Get the fuck out of here with that nasty ass bullshit. Blank canvas. Shut the fuck up. I hate this person. <laughs> oh no. I think Lou's already started breathing the paint fumes. Exactly. That's just a canvas you have for the children to practice on. Thank God. Thank fucking God. <laughs> So that isn't something to have in this fucking massive art gallery. Thank God. Fennec comes walking over us, a little clipboard in hand, looking as refined and regal as ever. You never guess she was in a crisis of any sort. Blue's eyes look between me and her, her muzzle parted slightly. Hey, uh, I mean, hello, Miss Fennec. It's a pleasure seeing you again, Mr. DeRouge, and look, you managed to remain in many of your feet this time. Sphinx Cat nudges me with her elbow. Are you gonna introduce me, or...? Oh, Fenner, this is my friend Lou, they're a big fan. Lou, this is Fenner. The curator, right? Yes, indeed, pleased to make your acquaintance. You must be possible, this place is huge. It's quite the responsibility, yes, but it's what I happily bear. The arts are as important to me as living and breathing. I guess eating and sleeping aren't exactly priorities for her. It's a joy to be able to share that passion with the world. It's actually kind of funny, because Cliff is, was kind of taught to paint when he was a kid, so... There's a... I, I feel kind of sad, honestly. <laughs> we might under their breath. That makes you like, make, make you a pretty penny, too. Lou! Now the art you see is all... art you see has all been graciously donated to us by lovely artists from all over the world. I take someone to see the money talk scam. This is, this is considered the pride of our collection, after all. Time they close look. That is technically what I'm here for. If that thing gets stolen, I'll be out of the job. Again. I'm more interested in the Van Howling to my. Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> oh boy! So Cliff, Cliff's art. Is in this fucking museum. That is that is great. Well, I can imagine we did have it on the, the royal family after all. 
Did you tell me where we can find it? It's no longer in our collection as of this. No! Come on! I wanted to see his goddamn it! Fuck off! You're kidding me. Why? My backers deemed it not interesting enough that they're a public anymore. Fuck off! According to them, these. I guess these days are looking for excitement to be dazzled, and supposedly there's little excitement to be to be found in a painting from the 1800s. And you're cool with ass? When it looks so interesting when he talks down. There's a kernel of truth to be found in my opinion, to be sure. Fuck off, you bitch! That's your ancestors you're talking about! Fuck you! Support we can find an interesting portion of our earnings go to charity, though father's not supposed to be fair. That kind of charity you guys support. It's much worse supporting the foundation for anglerfish with the dim lights. Never heard of that one. Which is why it's a matter of deserving more attention. What are you gonna do? Buy them all flashlights? Really, would you mind if I bought an Alex for a little while? We won't be long. I'm sure I'll go check out the statues and sculptures in the meantime. They get so confidently, but the look on their face only spells confusion. Don't go checking out that gown thing without me, you hear? I wouldn't dare. They definitely would. I wave at them as Ben and beckon me around the corner into a hallway. We pass a gerb wearing a fishbowl helmet that gives us a bit of an odd look. Makes me uncomfortable. <sighs> what the fuck is that, mate? It looks like something. Contemporary Batavia. Why is this in English? This is okay. Art and display further down the hall is very bold. Let's just say that. Canvases look like some look less like someone painted on them and more like someone threw up on them. Oh great, so they do display shitty postmodern garbage art then. If I'd known messy stains like that, like this went for millions, I'd sell them Max's laundry. Garden of Pleasure and Sin, Ed Edward Holt Moulin, 1767. Ha! Ah! That just uh, gave me a heart attack. Following this departure from his de following his departure from Batavia in 1760, old Mulins and Byron were not the only thing that changed. Garden of Sin, a pleasure in Sin was his bold first step into a new style, and is widely regarded as magnum opus today. Brushstroke represent. How long is this gonna go on for? Oh, this is all just. This is just a new state of the art audio tour. It, the senses behind the paintings like a trick as you walk past. It's quite a delight, really. In what universe would anyone find that delightful? The, mm, Jesus Christ, why? Would you use your blood? Fuck that. It's very informative. You think so? I've had the pleasure of providing some of the audio myself. But that is why I brought you, but that's not why I brought you here. She looks left and right and pushes her glasses off her snout. We've closed with the general public today, but there's still been no sign of the saltwater syndicate. Maybe it was a prank after all. I find that hard to believe. As long as I'm still getting paid, I'm happy. She takes the calling card from earlier out of her purse. I don't mean me separate regard as potential authenticity or lack thereof. I was rather curious myself. So I found a friend who was so happy to have access to the evidence archive from the local police station. Is that even legal? And how does she get friends like that in the first place? I'm writing that on one of the calling cards sent to Mr. Ahab's previous victims perfectly. I shrug. It could still be fake. I've worn my parents' signatures to get out of school stuff all the time when I was a kid. Pretty good at it, too. Of course, I also got in trouble for it more times than I can count. Mr. DeRouge, we I'm a curator working for an art gallery. We deal with works that are worth thousands, if not millions, every day. If anything, I'm good at spotting forgery. It will be coming. Not a single establishment has a card like this left was left unscathed. Is there anything else you could tell about the syndicate? I don't know what's in the papers. That'll do. Don't really read papers. Who needs them with a never-ending gossip machine like Lou around? Supposedly, the Saltwater Syndicate engages in heist, thievery, and mail privateering, the likes of which we haven't seen in Batavia in a very long time. I didn't know they were so organized. 
I was expecting silly pirates, not the fish mafia. Rat. I mean, the Don Hatton called them a new crew. That is partly true. Their numbers aren't exactly what we would call large, even though the leader most certainly is. However, they make up for it in efficiency and cunning, which is why I called your employer. I cannot risk a single item being stolen or damaged. I trust you understand. We might even have a state with our alarm systems, but so do all the other targets. Well, I'm supposed to prevent this heist. I'll be my lonesome. No pressure. I'm new at this, but I'll do what I can. I'll see if any. I'll if I see anything, I'll call for backup. It's the only way I can handle this, really. You're sounding. You're starting to sound like a real healer, Mister. D I mean, Duskhound. And with Mister. Donhound and Mimi for backup, you absolutely needn't fret. Why do you keep calling him Mimi? Why are you getting away with him in the first place? Oh, that I the. Pleasure of getting to know Mr. Drawsdahl many years ago at the Ship of Burger Tea Academy. An academy for tea making? Learning how to brew the perfect cup takes time and effort, Mr. DeRouge. Wonder if this means Willem went to some sort of coffee academy. I know at first glance, he doesn't seem the kind of man to frequent such a place. Further spreadically bouncing with delight. But he has quite the delicate size, I'm sure you're aware. Can't say that I am. As far as I can tell, he's about as delicate as a steamroller. I think being the only man in the class was caught him a bit off guard. Plus, as he was, he stuttered when he tried to introduce himself. He simply could not resist the urge to make a lovely nickname out of it. She giggles and smiles as she says it. Are we talking about the same Milo? You should ask him about it. He ended up being the best in the class in the end. Now consider if I ever get tired of my arms and attach my body. For my own safety, I think I'll take your word for it. I suppose I'd best get to scout out the place. I know you'll be working, but I hope you enjoyed the art display as well. I'll give it a look, see. Thanks. I'm the one who should be thanking you. I appreciate what you're doing, Mr. Dodoos. I have faith in you. She smiles even though Zerg refuses to let me. Even though my nerves refuse to let me, I try to look her in the eye and smile back. I got this. I don't. But what Ralph say in the situation? Have no fear, citizen. Does count is on the case. They left surrounding together in excitement. Splendid, absolutely marvelous. I may say just for you, the pose a little, you seem a bit stiff. Probably because of the bruiseless stable wrestling a deadly butler for hours. Still, she was convinced enough, waving hand at me as she walks off. Well, some called him a witch. Modern scars believe modern scars believe this style was influenced by his peers who used their blood to Right, I better go to. Why would you use your blood in a painting? That's fucking stupid. Oh boy. More art. I'm sorry. That there looks like a fucking naked person. What the fuck? Politicians of the Ages exhibit. The Money Talk Scout. Old Batavian Masterworks. Okay then. Alright, mission. Recon start. I say that, but I don't really know what I'm looking for. Jesus, I need to fucking go back real quick. I'll be back in a second.
I am back, everyone. <coughs> Excuse me, ma. I say that, but I don't really know what I'm looking for. If I was running a motley crew of art thieves with a pirate fetish, what would I tell them to steal and how would I prepare them? Max Rear, I'm sure you tell me how he, how they did in the Phantom Thief Casino. But he's not, so I'll have to leave it up to the whims of fate. Looks like we're gonna know the lay of the land first. Let's start here. Gallery has two main public floors with actual works of art. There's a skylight above the atrium. Lots of hallways leading to different exhibits. This would be the perfect place for a dramatic exit. Picture myself, loot secured, busting through the windows and vanishing into the night sky without a trace. But I doubt the syndicate would be dumb enough to try something that conspicuous, unless they get my job easier as part of their code. Second floor is basically a loft with a fear view of everything else. Another janitor apparent with brightly colored feathers. If Ooh, these guys are clever. They're already there. They're already there. I appears to be doing a sleep up here that there. With this many janitors around me are to be stealthy. He's looking rather intently. I suppose it's unusual for there to be that many people in here after closing. Decide so to check for back entrances or emergency exits. On the way, I scan the various paintings, sculptures, and other art pieces on display. Some of it's even are interactive. I have absolutely no idea how to tell priceless from worthless. But since the Syndicate declared their heist so brazenly, maybe they left clues as to what they're planning to aiming to steal after the money talks down. He's a whale. Okay. Whoa, this one's huge. I've never seen a statue. Are you retarded? Big and wide and buff and it smells like tropical fruits. I don't think it would have poke. <laughs> I'm no statue laddie, but I'm flattered all the same. Talks. I look up with huge whale. Sure enough, he's breathing, blinking, and smirking. And almost twice my height. This man could crush me with a finger. I don't know whether that kind of conclusion terrifies me or turns me on. Jesus Christ, dude. Uh, just, I, I mean, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry for poking you. This, uh, this is well you did, boy. I nearly stepped on you. God. Please do. Wow. You should see the look on your face. <laughs> Sorry, I don't often get some meat. Veils. I, 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 Pardon me for saying this, lad, but don't you know we closed early the day? You're not supposed to be here. Uh, respect guess the fenners. I, I mean, sir, sir, you fucking gross person. I look up at him, but I barely see past those packs. Do those even qualify as packs anymore? They're freaking mountains. Here I thought Ryle and Milo were buff. Mr. Fenner never said anything about geests. Didn't tell me either. Who are you? I be the janitor of this here gallery. You're uh, doing a good job. I haven't seen a speck of dust since I walked in here. You're a dumb person, that dude. All right, you are, and I tend to keep it that way, Sonny. It is my job to clean up and all of the rubbish that don't belong here. So let me ask again, lad. What are you doing here? Sounds like Right, but he's all smart. He's a whale of a smile flashed from his face. Ha ha ha. Whale of a smile. Ha. Well, because I think I'm buying the plant heist. If he knows anything, if he know, even knows anything about it. 
I should ask. Pumping and poke through him tells him to do inspective shows, right? Just gotta find him his new way in. Tell him to start, lover, I swear. There's, there's a lot of neat stuff on display here. Has anyone ever tried to feel him making that weird suspicious? Unique it! Last voice so loud it seemed to shake the very hall we're in. So would we quite the whole and no mistake. The ordinary thief would do. I think there are a place like this, security's tighter than the Queen's undergarments. And just this pretty. Jesus fucking Christ. Not even the saltwater syndicate? Whale shudders slightly with his massive size. I can practically feel the floor vibrate. Are you daft, lad? The Saltwater Syndicate, that be no name for you is likely. Fenna told you about the car that got here in the mail, then. So he does know. They sound like you know them. Know them? Aye, lad, know them I do. They're a nasty sort, need to be wise not to cross them. Looks like those don't mess around, you could get hurt or worse. I, uh, thought you said no thief worked this solar raw place like this. They're no ordinary thieves, lad. They take it from me. You'd want to be out there as fast as your cute little, as your cute wee little legs can carry ya. Cute, huh? He chuckles. There's a wee button. Now if you excuse me, I got myself a little mess to clean up my subordinates. Trust you'll find the exit on your own. Yes, sir. I mean, yeah, yeah, I will. Takes a knee and I can find look through his eyes. This big, beautiful eye. You're talking to the dude you tried to fucking stop. Grand, me boy, grand. Sorry, he puts a big hand on my shoulder. If you're still out and about town at, say, 11 tonight, press. Me up, we could get us a little something to drink at the local pub. You do, like, you'd say. God, I'm usually not gonna be loud. This guy's got me beat. Reach out by himself a wagon tail. A day then a party to celebrate a job well done. Sure, I'd love to take you out of the day. I mean, you know, a good place. Yeah, I had a great idea, that. It's a prison of pain. Jesus Christ, what is going on? Does he just carry these around all day, waiting to take them? Not complaining. See you, lad. They don't let your sharks bite you in the boom. Oh boy. Turns around the corner, giving me a good view of it. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's shaping out better than I thought it would, though it is going to be a little difficult to focus now. Throw her back at me up a little. Jesus Christ, Alex, you fucking... I find them sitting on the bench in the main hall. There you are, what took you so long? Sorry, she was just telling where the gift shop was. I mean the really obvious one near the exit they all but they all but corral you through? The one that's not even open right now. Honestly, maybe I should start telling the truth at this point of it myself while it looked like less of a fool. Hey, right, that one. Ah, oh, darn. I was really hoping to buy some merch. Fiddlesticks and all that. You alright? Never been better. Really? Because you're all sweaty keep looking over your shoulder. Oh, if you only knew. So, how are the statues? Oh, you missed a, a bunch. There's like, there's stuff you're doing back like the Middle Ages or any fancy. There's all these golden chandeliers and necklaces and Sure, if you melted them all down, you can make a statue bigger than city, the one city hall. It must be in your element, then. I'm in Nirvana. Might as well ask, right? Glad you're having fun. You haven't seen or heard anything weird, then. I'm looking at you right now. They grin. No, I mean weird, weird. He was asking. Fenna said there were some uh, rowdy tourists walking around. This is Shepherdsburg, Alice. They're... Alex, there's rowdy tourists everywhere. Especially rowdy? Oh. No, there was one thing I noticed. No tourists, but it's been a couple janitors going around. Shake their head. Eh, it's probably nothing. Janitors? This some I spot when I was looking around. There's quite a few of them. They noticed too. First I was like, okay, at least they're cleaning the place, but then I went to the bathroom for a bit. When I got back, they were cleaning the same spot for the third time. Also, Pointed the money talks guy the center door room around his way. Horned chameleon standing next to it dressed in black. Even the color of his scales matches. It's a nasty look with a scowl on his face. Ah, <laughs> uh, the fucking... The, 
The, f the fucking fourth wall breaks. It took you the... It took you this long to get to my grand entrance. Hey, don't butter on my story. Can we please just fight him? I am inclined to agree. Are you too? I would rather not miss episode of Encla. Encla dos the amor tonight. Neither would I. Get to the point already. As I was saying... Like I said before, there's a nasty looking scowl on his face. He's staff, he's been, the guy's been standing there for a solid 10 minutes. Uh, should this still be here? I know it's on, I know it's the centerpiece of the collection, but jeez. So you look at the gown? I swear it looks different in the photos. The whispering seemed to catch the old one chameleon's attention, who somehow managed to wriggle his hands into his pockets and scamper it off into the hallway. Where I spot another janitor waiting to exchange word over the general direction of direction. Blood goes cold, I recognize the jacket he's wearing. Smell ahead of the spicy sauce from all the way over here, too. That's that Barracuda Ishmael. But that car wasn't a fake. They're already in here. Paul three out of Jack and talks to him, maintaining eye contact with me. Just far enough away that I can't hear what he's saying. Then he starts walking my way. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Who's the big noise hauler? Must be. Everything okay, Alex? We need to find somewhere to hide and quick. What? Just listen to what I say, okay? You're serious, aren't you? Deadly, come on. Oh boy. Break out and do his frizzer janitors come out from other hallways like a cleaning convention in here. Take Lou by the wrist and lead him down a hallway. Down a lead them down a corridor. I've got to find a place where they'll be safe, where, where no one will ever look. Right, the politicians of the ages exhibit. Finally come to a spot. Next to a bust of a guy with the sourest expression I've ever seen. This is this place about to get robbed. One of the janitors was the dude from the store the other day. And that guy who tried to rob Mrs. DeBroon? Yeah, it's a slow water syndicate. We're stuck here with a game of thieves. Call for help. And I'll take care of it. You stay here. Hey, stupid Al, you can't take on robbers by your own. I might not be able to, but I know someone who is. You see Fennet tell her I'm on it. Down the head, down the pat, I give them a pat on the back and head deeper into the gallery. You know, splitting up usually gets people killed in horror movies, right? Idiot. Hmm. True, though. True. I didn't think the syndicate would be making their move this soon. I run out of the exhibit. It would be safe, but the syndicate is still in my tail. I need to shake them off and find a place where I can call Ral and Milo. They'll know what to do for sure. Hey, Spotty, stop right there, you land loving dog. Just got the score to settle with you. A few minutes pass and barricaded over the trash can. Like that's gonna stop him. Like that's gonna stop him. Footsteps down, sound just outside the door. Looks like they didn't see me go in here. That might buy me some extra time. Surprisingly clean for public space. Guess the Jatter must have been in here too. This lock versus equity check to solve me, make sure no one else is around. So I'm gonna last one and close the door quietly as I can. Then we're in the earpiece of my way and some dollars hide. What did she say again? Just flip the switch to establish the connection and then push to talk. I sit down to sit in my nerves. This, this toilet seat is freezing cold. H Hello? I usually in the movies. Uh, do you copy? Over. One crack is followed by a familiar voice. Those count. What is current status? My little voice comes in loud and clear. Emphasis on the loud. I almost fall right off the toilet seat. And the dust count requests an immediate backup. Fish are in the, uh, the net. I saw you screw this. They're here. They're pretending to be staff. My watch wire from within here and eerie chuckle. Ingenious approach. Most likely infiltrated before the gallery even opened. Give them the back in the back. Most of the gallery currently crawling with thieves. You actually go just in time, spot. I got some with your name on it. Well, it doesn't actually have your name on it yet. Over. Want well, your name on it? Over. Stuck to the sewer trying to leave. Oh, hold that. Oh, that. Hold on, give me more. Over. Mr. Bavard, please don't. And I, the line crack, because I hear something click in place behind me. Let me take a look. A section of the tiles seem to be shaking. I'm moving too. The toilet. The toilet is moving. What did you do? 
Well, it's actually going to be a bumpy ride. As if I can cue the wall suddenly lowers into the ground. <laughs> I have little time to comprehend it. Poor little oil flips onto its back, tossing me into a black void. There's a surface below me, some sort of slide, it's almost, but it's almost a vertical drop. I scream as loud as my lungs let me. It's what happened every time. I turn and brace myself. I don't want to break my neck when I hit the ground. When I hit the ground, I do. Hard. Ugh! Even the softness of the mat is like a punch to the gut. Strode, I got my feet when I do it, my hands are what it can be. Of course. Toilet water. Once my utter confusion subsides by the tiniest amount, I take a look around. I'm back in the round computer room below Ralph's mansion. How the fuck? And there's the Wattweiler looming over me as I stagger to my feet. So, sign on to put your name on it now. On it for now, but I was thinking we could always embroider it later. What do you think? I was at the gallery. How'd I end up here? Secret passage, pretty nifty, huh? A secret passageway into a bathroom? Nifty is not the word I'd use. I'm soaked. Shit, my little brother is gonna get on my new shoes. Yuck. Why'd you bring me back here? Why we can't just leave them? They'll rob the police blind. Worried about Lou, too. Are they safe? God, if Cindy doesn't keep my ass loose, certainly will. Master Bavard pressed the button before I could stop him. I have to get back right now. Of course, but you don't think we'd stop a robbery just like that, do you? Lights! Oh, for fuck's sake. Claps his hands and the lights dim. Hmm, my god. <laughs> he claps his hands again. When the lights come back on, a mannequin has risen from the floor below. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay then, dude. Now, Randy, for prom, aside from your um, blueprints, you have a very unique sense of style. 2035, I was right. But in the end, I think I see the mirroring functionality and comfort to make it a product worthy of wearing the Brevard name. So I am mostly bulletproof. Easy to clean, and most importantly, the suit can be worn underneath almost any item of clothing. Tell my head. It's very flashy. I've outfitted with heating and cooling elements too, so you should be able to withstand the elements. Let's see what else. Tracking dots, the magnets in your boots. Magnets? Mmm, they click gears a couple times, you can stick to walls. You did all that in what, two hours? Maybe I really was underselling him. That's not all. Ralph snaps his fingers, and a second platform rises from the ground. Is that a gun? Oh, boy. Yes and no. That does... Yes and no? Bro, what? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. So what the fuck are you talking about? This is a state-of-art grappling gun made for scale and buildings and covering large amounts of distance in a jiffy. Okay, if that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, that's weird. So, if my math is correct, Chase is 41 in this game. She's... Is... You mean... You mean, like, sput... I pull up my mouth. Stop right there. We don't want any copyright issues. <laughs> right. Lower his hand. I haven't taken it for a test drive yet, but it should work fine. For, it should work just fine for someone like you. Someone like me? What's that supposed to mean? Simple tool for a simple man. Rude. Simple is not always negative quality. Don't worry, I ran careful calculations. I won't rip your arm out of its socket or anything like that. 
Safe to use, right? Ral? <clears throat> or in my calculations, yes. I thought you were a four times inventor of the year winner. Can't exactly go around testing grappling hooks. Oh, but I can! There is little time to be worrying, yes. Idle banter won't save Gallery. You're absolutely right. Oh boy, here we go. Fight time. Don't know if he's saying that because he agrees or because he wants me to shut up. You ready to suit up, discount? Time's a wasting. I ignore else, flexing and running my paw over the dump suit and the mannequin. Get a feel for the imitation leather of the crop jacket, the mask staring with it through. Out with blinking white eyes. It's kind of badass. Way better than the cosplay stuff Mac is always looking at a line. I'd be so jealous if I showed him this. Ready as I'll ever be. There is one final thing for me. For produce a little jewelry box from his breast pocket and hands it over to me. They want you to have this. I made it with my own hands, designed them based on the design I asked to provide. Not gonna pose, are you? It is only that a welcome present. I know when I found what appears to be a star-shaped pin inside. Is this some sort of gadget too? Milo shakes his head. It's his tongue-piercing attachment for use in costume. Ah, uh, you may have for me. Only to keep identity somewhat secret. Really do care, huh, Mimi? Grim makes his half a growl and a surprise squawk. Do not push it. They try to act professional, but they sound like an old married couple bickering sometimes. It's kind of endearing. It's cute. Thanks, Milo. Nods, feathers bristle, and he looks adorable like this. Alright, let's get this show on the road. Oh boy, here we go. Fighting timer. Whoa! Whoa! Okay then, buddy. <laughs> okay then. Thank God there was no... <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I was scared for a second there. I was, a, I was a bit scared there was going to be a dick. I'm overcome with surreal sensation when I see myself in the reflective metal walls. Not looking at Alex Baruj anymore, but something else, in, someone else entirely. Oh boy, I turn and look at myself every which way. Stretch my legs, tighten the belt around my waist. God, Jesus Christ, go up. That was its spot. I'm uh, beginning to see the appeal. Phone vibrates, and material of the jumpsuit is so thin it tickles my legs. Who is calling? My finger might as well pick it up. Took you long enough. It's a relief to hear them shouting at me again. Lou, are you alright? What's the situation out there? These guys with weapons run the halls. Where'd you go? I, I tried to find you, but it's like you went off the map. Oh, I told you to stay put at the exhibit. There is another person at Gallery. I heard someone scream that they've gotten the curator lady. I have to do something now. You can end up hurt. I'll pick myself back up again. What if they kill her? No, listen, I'm the one who got you into this mess. I'm gonna get you out. Just hold on. They're coming. Gotta run. Room from my temples. As if this situation needed to get any worse. Spa, what's going on? Only knows now I'm hyperventilating. So freak out, okay? I, I took some with me to the gallery. You did what? You absolute imbecile! I didn't want to up like I didn't want to stand up like this. I thought it would just be what fun day out in park. And there was eyes on my cheeks even hard. It starts to form my stomach. Really messed up, didn't I? Figured I'd stand out less. I was scared of going alone. Should have told us. You put innocent person in danger. I know. I know. Do not think you know. It's again we fight real criminals. You come close to dying at store only one week ago. Do not invite others to share that fate. Sink ground, y'all. Even deeper underground and disappear. But all I can do is me as I my own. I know I fucked up. But I need your help. Is your friend safe? They seemed okay, but they said Fena might be in trouble. They're going after her. 
Situation is most certainly we'll discuss lack of common sense later. Alright, there's a feeling stuck at the gallery that is not a moment to lose. Go save a friend, Spot. What's the best way to get back up there? Thank God, I'm afraid. Secret passage only goes one way. Mookie doesn't... The Wookie doesn't boss what I haven't seen since I got to turn on my own job. This is why I told you not to press button. The grappling gun and turn to the slide. There might be another way. You got one of these two, Rao? Only a prototype. Oh, I see what you're planning. Let's just go back the way I came. It's a good infiltration point. Oh, the climb, though. We don't have another option. I am up and squeeze my eyes shut. I mean, the gun up at the dark void in front of me. Like this. Like that. I just pulled the trigger. I swallow, and after rethinking my entire life, as well as what has led me up to this point, I decide to follow through. Hello. Uh, I have some compliments to give the writing here, but I'll save that for the end. I squeeze the trigger. It's not working. His mechanism jammed. Should work fine. Try again. I open my eyes again. I'm still sitting in the computer room. I feel almost weirdly relieved. I need to tell you this, boss. Maybe you should take this one back to the drawing, but... Ah! <laughs> oh, boy. Suddenly, I'm catapulted forward into the darkness. I'm sick in my stomach. I went up faster upward than I ever did going down. Holy shit, holy shit. Those resistors of vomit rising. Something clicks, momentum slows. I'm left dangling from where I pull myself up and clamber over the ledge I found myself at. Pull the trigger of the gun again, attaches itself from the wall, a quarter tracking on its own. Look over my shoulder. The slide gets less vertical from here, but I still have a lot of ground to cover. It smells real musty in here, like Max's room on a Saturday level was a musty. Scratch that, the hane when we were still allowed to smoke inside level was a musty. I see some light coming from the far end, but you know there's rows upon rows of tunnels leading into this place. I wonder where all these go. Another grappling hook hits the wall behind me, yanking back to reality, up to the gravity, and almost making me roll down, roll right back down the slide again. Whoa! Your foot's about behind me, then laborious grunting as the boss struggles to pull himself up. Need a hand? Please. I pull the rails out and consider how he was before offering. I wish I'd reconsidered. Oh, you, I got you. There we go. He stands up out of breath, we both peer into the dark tunnels ahead. Thought it would, you thought it wouldn't work. Pretty sure I'd still shaved a couple years off my life. How far is it? Gonna be a little hike. Across my back. Stuff in this team can't handle. Is it like on the other side of town? I can't even drop down to the lair that fast. That was that's what I was thinking. Still not very efficient. That tells me nothing. I wish I was half as optimistic as this guy. Here a piece crackle and I hear my own voice. Are you bold to steal in the world of living? Barely. Tip top shape, Raven 3 over. Raven 3. Figured I'd give you a code name as well. What do you think, over? Well, it sounds on there in the line. I am not the Raven. That sounds mysterious, dashing, handsome, over. I am neither mysterious nor dashing. So he's not denying the handsome part. Naming sensibility leaves much to be desired, it will do for now. Go this straight ahead to your location. Exercise caution and strength. Thank you, over and out. Oh boy, here we go. Not just made themselves with muzzle in the darkness in front of us. Right here. Excuse me, what? I squeeze through the hole in the wall up in the tunnel and emerge in the bathroom stall. Rael comes out behind me right before the mechanism activates and the wall rises up from the ground again. So I return to the usual position. Everything's back to normal. It's almost, it's almost kind of creepy. Uh, door's still locked. It's very, very cramped. While the stall looks made for larger species, they probably didn't take multiple people into account. Rael's practically pinned against the door. Not that I mind terribly. Uh, I'm sorry, but you might get in the door. I can't reach the lock from here. Of course, just let me... See much I'm trying to open the door now on purpose, but it doesn't need to know. It smells... Jesus Christ. That ought to do it. Thank you. Raven 3 have touched around the men's room over. Let's is good. If possible, try to stay hidden from enemy, then engage in ambush. Gonna fight guys with weapons? 
That is accurate assessment. You do what you do want to save frenemies, then or do you not? Normally, I would suggest avoiding combat situation, but that is not always option. All right. I'm not sure I'll survive this, but I have to try. We inconspicuously sneak into the hallway, which is empty now. Empty and then silent. I'm getting some haunted museum vibes. Hmm, are you? Uh, Rouse Company doesn't make you feel any less off. Oh boy, I'm a little fucking hour and 30 minutes now. Jesus Christ, man. At least the art's still on the walls. Isn't this amazing? So now we actually get to stop it. We get to stop an actual art heist. Pretty nervous, actually. Nervous? Sha. Well, you'll do great. I, they won't know what hit him. Are you scared at all? Shuri is just as trusted as abilities as tools and companions. Everything I disposal to win this, just stick with me. Be lying if I said his ludicrous amounts of confidence aren't at least a little infectious. Maybe he's faking this thing just as hard as I am. Beckons me down the hall and I follow. Every noise I hear makes me jump and I aim the grappling gun at every shadow I see. Eventually, Ryle sidles up to a corner and I crouch down next to him. Our most of these chunky ain't even worth the trouble, Polly. Honestly, the birds chirping kind of added to this because there's a bird. There's a bird in here. <laughs> you probably don't hear the birds, though. I know that voice all too well. Been in my nightmares all week. I peer around the corner and see the barracuda standing next to the parrot dare from before. Guess we weren't the only one to change clothes. The junk ain't why we're here, Ishmael. Right, we we be here for that spotty straggler. Are they talking about me? Yeah, obviously they are. I want to say some, but Ryle shushes me. No shenanig No shenanigans. Captain wants only wants them tossed out. Figure I can still a little fun. We'll be we'll be at it. Got a mighty score to settle. The captain gets cross. You be on your own. Risk I be willing to take. He did say he ran starboard, didn't you, matey? Right as rain he did down the hall and starboard. Are you sure you didn't mess up your instructions again, Ishmael? Starboard be left, correct? Starboard be right, you fool! Be left! Right! Left! Oh boy, there's a lot of yelling going on. I'm sorry, it. Why can't we just, why can we not just say left and right? This is why you're still, this is why you're still the captain boy and be the captain, and I be the captain's right hand man. What's your mean starboard hand man? Rao crouches closer and beckons for me to follow. Lewis foils, I can't with the two continue their increasingly inconsistent pirate bickering. This is perfect, they're so loud they'll never hear a... God damn it! What day did I anger to deserve this kind of bad luck? Well, and I take cover behind the corner again. The audio Torah voice is so loud, the fish and parrot duo immediately look over at the painting. Did you do that, Ishmael? No, I don't think so. Fix the struggle between nature and machine. Make it stop. Don't know how. Now Beck and Lunage jumping out from behind the corner. They've still got their backs turned to us. Halt, evildoers! Sw swear on me bones, this be the last time I be taking you anywhere. Like ye be any fun to be around. Bullets clears his throat. I said halt, evildoers! Yeah, yeah, I can wait for a bit. We're in the middle of a... You! You, you're the fuck. I mean, you be, you'll be the landlubber from the store. It's right, it is I, the Dawnhound. <laughs> be for real. <laughs> the parrot bursts out laughing. This be the man who sent you home crying, Ishmael. Throwing pirates overboard is a little hobby of mine. Well, you won't be so lucky this time, Zayla. You. Maybe rather large and have muscles large than a frigate. Looks rather up and down. And be rather handsome, but it'd still be two against one. Raoul pulled me out of the shadows, and all of a sudden I'm staring down two extremely dangerous and most likely armed men. 
They stare at me like I'm some sort of oddity. Dusk has come to a dusk has come. I flag stretching with the looks on their faces. I'm particularly impressed. Great entrance spot. Oh, I'd say your pose needs some work. Try something like this. Strikes with those themselves when they make uncomfortable eye contact with the parrot. This one wasn't there last time. I have a two for one at the freak show. Funny, I was about to say the same thing. How many curves do you need to suck? Suiting under that pirate get up. At least mine ain't dead. At least mine ain't made out of rubber, you scallywag. <laughs> oh my god. Takes a deep breath and just looks at the brothers on top of his head back. No happy thoughts, buddy. Happy thoughts. Call him as the waves. Maracuda turns to him. Yeah, with the waves. What are you waiting for, Polly? Let's get him. Now, now, you know I feel about getting me nails dirty, Ishmael. Just had myself a many petty and me psychiatrist, Sid. Does it really pretty nails? Here I thought you were a bird of paradise or whatever the seven Z's call you. Turns out you're just a big chicken. What did you call me? A chicken. Friend, there's a point. It's it. I've had it. You want violence? I'll give you violence. Oh, boy. Come at us, fiend. There it charges towards with a screech that could shatter glass. The barracuda hot in his heels. Okay, Spot, let's knock some heads together. Easy for you to say. What do I do? I could not be less prepared for this if I tried. Think, Al, think. Uh, true, you're just two as a busy companions. Will real enters the fighting stance. I aim my grappling gun down the hall just past them. Hope this works. Squeeze the trigger and immediately surge forward as the hook speared into the wall. Dusk, a fucking idiot. Cut my legs and only have a second to regret the choice to let me here before kicking the two heat, two thieves as hard as I can. They fly back backward, hitting the ground in perfect sync. Fortunately, I haven't figured out how to stop this thing yet, and I soon follow. Smack it against the wall hard. Ugh. Spot, are you okay? I am most decidedly not. Way back. At least this time I've won. I have no one myself to blame. It's quite the stun you put. You knocked them out cold. <laughs> yes, I did. Leave the trigger pinging the hook from the wall, and then I collapse. Oh boy. Started like this thing. <sighs> oh boy. Oh boy, this dude's a fucking, like, uh... Mr. Ahab, sir, I found this cat prancing about in the halls. Let me go. Sure, <laughs> another straggler, eh? What should we do with them? Tie him up and put him in the brig with the curator, Kamu. We can't have any interlopers swimming around. <laughs> can't be serious. By a brig, you mean what exactly? Janitor's closet. I'll troll. We went over this in your orientation, lad. You're uh, you, 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 unassuming. I understood even half of what you were saying. Listen to your captain, Rook. You're be joining them with telling them no mistake. Did you take care of the dress like I asked you to? That dress is safe and sound. Remarkably heavy, by the way. I not put up with any, with any of your shit. It would be in your best interest to comply, cat. What, I have seven children from back home. They have sharper teeth than you. As a matter of fact, I can do far worse than... Dawn has come to vanquish the night. Jing is up here. Let that civilian go. As I heroically dash, or well, attempt to dash onto the scene, I come face to chest with a very large janitor from before. Except he's somehow wearing even less this time. Then it hits me. You're Ahab? Turned to Rao. This is Ahab. In the flesh, laddie. You'll be just in time to join this mutineer here in the brig while we abscond with the poxy gown. Not a wheeling to say about it, right, Spot? Big whale man. Huge whale man. Spot. Honestly, as far as experiences go, big man hitting on me turned out to be a super villain isn't it isn't the worst thing that's happened to me. Good work with that. Fix it. I can fix it. <laughs> Fuck off. 
Fuck off. Spawn. Right, I guess I'm ready to kick his ass. It's round tone. Fucking Christ. Spawn. Right, right. Are you alright? I mean, citizen. The hell is that you under there? Yeah, it's. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it does count champion of justice. Why are you wearing. What is that? Is that a collar? It's my uniform, citizen. Uniform? Like a clown. I have to agree with your companion, no choice of fashion, and I use that term lightly, at least much to be desired. I mean, let my friend go, villain. Quite frankly, you look like you fell down a flight of stairs at a thrift store and hit every bargain rack on the way down. That's kind of harsh, but I'm being constructive here. You may want to shop elsewhere in the future. For all sakes. Lou, you might want to duck. Be like eyes for some before I dive out of the way, where they dive out of the way, leaving plenty of room for the barrel and the grappling gun to connect with the chameleon's head. How? Barely to cause him to let go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> no, no, no. No, sir. He clutches his face and dramatically spins in place. You ingrate, you hit my nose. How the surgery scars just yield. Tip my muzzle toward Lou. Fetch the cure and get out while you still can, citizen. There's tr trouble brewing. Alex. Whoa, cigarette any, don't cause a scene. Right, I'll head off. Just stay safe, okay? You know how bad I fall at your vibe. Ah! <laughs> Powerful hands you up my shoulder, next thing I know I'm flung through the air head first. Let's send a question my light before my sudden flight is rudely interrupted by the Rottweiler I crash into. Need to break up your touchy moment and all, but our ship's about to set sail and you were of no use for stories. Last thing I hear is a chameleon's chuckle like went through the gallery. Jesus, not I, that fucking face, that's fucking spoopy. Are you sure he's okay? Does seem rather hot if it doesn't, eh? Mm. You're not. Does kind of face far greater challenges than this. You know, you don't have to keep up the act. Mm, sorry, force of habit. That is still spinning. What happened? Oh, uh, you've come to you, excellent. So, do we win? Honestly, no. Could have gone either way, really. Sit up, feel like I got hit by a train. Didn't hurt you, did he? You guys got knocked out, they said they had come what they had what they come came for. They came here for and kinda of left. Pretty anticlimactic. Your friend and her came from an unfortunate predicament in the janitor's closet. Gotta love the way this woman makes getting locked in a closet sound like a minor inconvenience. Really had no idea your chairs people owns this entire time. We hired them for a Corruptible tip agency, I'll have you know. Just to shove a long conversation with him once it's all over. There was one other thing. Huh? We tipped our nozzle in, in the hallways from which Milo emerges. I'm not sure our whole secret identity thing. Parameter seems clear. No other way out of the storm. Pushes his glass up, up on his beak. Thank you for checking, Milo. You can thank me by being more careful in the future, yes. I see those counters regain consciousness as well. Just bow when did you get here? It's suspicion you might not be able to handle threat after communication went silent. It would seem I was right. Either rub salt in the wound. Fortunately, you yet live. Unfortunately, money talks gown has disappeared. I will go after it. Do not be so hasty. Attacking Syndicate without plan is much like hitting head against wall. Repeatedly. You will only end up with headache. And how do we get the gown back? Our exhi exhibition should be gonna continue without that star, without the star of the show. We have to get it back somehow. We will go after the dress. We will prepare and approach this shit with caution. Crow clears intently at Ral and me. How did you meet these guys, Ral? It's a long story. Milo turns to Lou and Fen his expression much softer. We will tell you another time. We have objective to complete. Takes a bow. Can you get back to safety from here? 
I'm pretty sure I can make it across the stream. I'm accompanying you. I could use a bit of fresh air. Great, I'm sure Willie will be silly some of the blow balloons. Balloons? Oh, you've been to the hand. Come say up, I'd love to join you. It sounds fascinating. Alright, I'll catch you later, Alex. Good luck, Mr. Dodouge, and be careful. Blue looks back at the two of them, looks as the two of them walk away, confusion and annoyance playing in spite on their face. I know that look, they're gonna grill me something fierce. There's so much I wish I could say right now that I have a job they complete. A job we messed up royally. So I decided to turn back to Raoul and Milo. So how are we gonna find the syndicate now? Ben is gonna have our hides if we don't get that dress back. You'll recall I planted a tracking device in one of Ahab's goons last week. Right, I remember him showing me at Mrs. DeBrun's store. Milo. Sir. Now would be a good time to check on where a fleshy friend is headed. Affirmative. Milo presses a button as a rich wasp and a hologram pops up. Thorgat is moving towards Saltwater Canal's district. On foot, judging my peace. They're probably under their water if I weren't hazard a guess. Are we even equipped to fight underwater? Our face droops in disappointment. Well, you see... You are now. We are? We are. Wait, even Ral's surprised? First time it feels like forever a grin creeps across the crow's face. Looks almost delighted. You two stormed out of headquarters like idiots. You did not think they had did not consider possible outcomes. I did, however. You saw the small case with underwater breathing gear. Excellent, I don't know what we do without you, Milo. I would rather not ponder that, sir. Oh boy, is that it? Is that the end of this one? The video is almost two hours. What I'm seeing defies everything I'd imagined. Oh shit, the animation's gonna fuck with the fucking video. God damn it. References off term. Much, much better. I've only seen parts underwater shopping streets while on the subway. Yeah, you get the got the they got the they got the Dutch back. They got the Dutch back. Well, not there, but whatever. They got some Dutch. You can get sheet green apparatuses near the canal entrances, but I've never owned a reason to come down here before. It's deeper than you might think. It's cold and the water pressure feels strange. Part of it feels like I don't belong here, but honestly, it's quite charming and calming. Warm and cool lights adore the, adorn the entire district. We swim past restaurants, hotels, souvenir shops. There's even a sign advertising guided tours. Both for laying let dwellers like myself, it's quite the domestic holiday destination. I don't know if I waited to choose to walk underwater nowadays. It wasn't always like this. But before Brevard inter in Enterprises revolutionized the city infrastructure, the canal is a little more than backwater districts in every sense of the word. I remember reading about it in history books back in school. Aquatic folks are making their home down here ever since Shippersburg was founded. In the early days, there were mostly merchants operating black markets. Over centuries, they became an integral part of the city. They have been instrumental in maintaining Shippersburg's foundation. The soil here is soft, so much of the city is built on pillars. In turn, the city council does everything in its power to keep pollution to a minimum. The water is clear and visibility is excellent, so they must be doing a pretty decent job. wonder what kinds of unique foods I could get down here. Enough exposition, spot we mission to complete. <laughs> Uh, about time. Boss's voice rings loud and clear in my earpiece. Yes, sir, but where do we even go? Was the tracker signal clear? Crystal, just follow my lead. They should be nearby. The reckon device is only accurate up to 10 meters, so keep eye out for any suspicious buildings. Copy Raven 3, over and out. Easier said than done. I don't know what constitutes normal down here. I haven't swam as much as I got my diploma. There's more stories here than down here than up there. Where do we even start looking? Arrow files his nose. That's nice and all, but I can't smell anything with his helmet on. It's a vigorous speech. 
Just think of it this way. If you were a pirate who came back from a perilous journey, where would you be? Me, personally? Probably dead from dysentery or heat stroke or scurvy or a minor cut. The local pub spot. The perfect place to divvy up loot and discuss nefarious deeds. Wouldn't that be too conspicuous for a gang of thieves? True, yeah, but it'd be the sort of establishment so frightening no man of the law would ever show his face anywhere near it. We're gonna have to scout all the back alleys. That could take hours. Doesn't have to, you have your phone on you. Yeah, why? Can you load up the restaurant view app for me? Underwater? The Zult Zeman. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. After combing through the back alleys of the shopping district for bars and restaurants, the track finally starts beeping. We're in the seedy part of the district now. The place is practically deserted. It's got to be somewhere quiet right now. Never have I had this many people look at me funny. Because anyone would, given our costumes, we come to all in front of quite possibly the dingiest restaurant I have ever seen. Rao gestures to his watch and points at the door. This is their secret lair. Uh, like I said, they're not the brightest angler fish in the ocean. The... The Zot Zeman? It had... I don't want to have stars on the Russian Review app. The only people to come here near it are health inspectors and fellows in hazmat suits. And us, apparently. I'm not sure I even want to go in without the gang of thieves waiting inside. But I guess there's really no other way to get that dress back. So what's the plan? We just barge in? Excellent. It is spot worse. Simply let the element of surprise work in our favor. Yeah, we'll just wait. No, 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 no. Yo, splice the membrace, another successful Ole lads. No thanks to the likes of Ya Ishmael. Are my heroes deceiving me? You were as unconscious as I was, matey. For no fault of my own. Quit your belly aching, you Thor, and cleave your pay in half. Just pull off the cape of the sentry, and it's all thanks to our rookie here. You flatter me, Mr. Hab, but do go on. You deserve it, lad. It was you that got us the general to begin with, after all. What can I say? I found up some old connections, pulled a few strings. Got the surprise worth millions. But I, I suppose I did that too, didn't I? You bloody well did, lad. I trust you haven't forgotten about our deal. Kai, yeah, but you certainly you want to leave the crew behind, matey. But just I enjoy that little escapade. I meant for bigger things. My top scan was only at the beginning. Join the vice, be a bladen. The starters. Syndicate, your days of wanton ransacking and thievery are finished. Can't just go and smash random windows. You may question my methods, but you can't question their efficiency. Jump into the broken window after the boss. Pirates regards with a mixture of confusion and fury. So much for the element of surprise. Oh boy. Almost two hours, what did I tell you? This is a love fucking update. So you came to after all, grand, grand. We'll be taking that gown back to its rightful owner now. Ha <laughs> ha no. Afraid not. I don't know how you followed me crew all the way back to our home turf, but you scurvy dogs will be doing none of that, I reckon. Not unless you want to repeat what happened at the gallery. This time you'll be the one in the floor, right, Spot? Are you crazy? It's four against two. Listen to your first mate here, Alm. There'd be no winning. There's no way you'd be winning this. Wouldn't be so sure of that. Sure you may have his number, we got Lady Justice herself on our side. Believe me, she's a harsh mistress. Justice won't save you from a one-way walk off the old blank down Alm, the captain. This captain don't tolerate mutineer, savvy. He stands up, head almost hitting the ceiling. Puts his tail forcefully in our direction, creating a current that nearly knocks me over. Last chance. I want to run, or rather swim away, but fear's taking hold of me and nail me at the ground. 
fear and look at the big whale in front of me a little bit of something else. Pirates of old would say the time has come to rip and burn your Jolly Roger. Ahab rushes out of the water, furniture flowing every which way, with the current surge past me. My old sister gears me to improve her water mobility, and I can't help but think we're at a severe disadvantage here. Whale winds up for a swing that Rallo only managed to dodge by the skin of his teeth. It's under my chair instead, utterly splintering it. I can only imagine what a force would do to force like that would do to my bones. Oh, the pirates aren't far behind. Within seconds, they all descend upon us at once. Bloody barnacles, don't let them get away! There it effortlessly, effortlessly darts through the water. Ral avoids a slight for the parrot. From the parrot, only to nearly catch a punch from Ishmael. Who instead hits his companion's face, the brightly colored bird screaming as he flies through the water. At least one of them is struggling as much with this environment as we are. Launching everything happen in slow motion. This almost feel like makes it feel like some strange sort of choreographed dance. Before El can neutralize the Barracuda, the horned chameleon from before comes in from above. Spot watch out! I try to respond as hurry, seeing I can't move as fast as I'd like. Everything just feels heavy. No one doesn't even struggle at all, he's moving as swiftly and graciously as a sweet sea dwelling companions. Foot connects to my stomach, knocking me away. His long, thin tongue extends with incredible speed and force. Rao blocks it with his arm, but it wraps around and snaring him. Scram my feet only to find Ahab, Ahab staring me down. Thought you could get away, did she? My life flashes before my eyes as I watch him wind up for another punch. Don't have time to dodge this one. Jesus. That's what getting hit by a bus feels like. My legs are out and I crumple to the floor. Spot no! I sit around to land a hit an elusive chameleon. My fever. Alright, get my hands and knees. I am not going down that easily again. Oh, I can even question if I'll ever be able to walk again. The wheel comes up behind me once more. Damn shame it can't had to come to this weekend have you two mucking up the deck any longer. So he walks, walks over to close the gap between us. He's so heavy he doesn't even need to swim. Gonna have Red Hawk catch the fleet-footed wizard off to do something about the behemoth by me first. To think fast. I look up and notice another chandelier above him. Looks fancy, gold, heavy. It was secure the same with the rope so thin it might as well be invisible. He's right underneath it. No time to waste. I aim at it, hold my breath, and I shoot. Doesn't make it to the chandelier from home, my heart sinks. Ah, that be sure that don't do you any. So the grappling hook changes direct directory downward, and the flat part hits Ahab square in his pirate's treasure. Oh boy. That's the thing that happened. <laughs> oh man, the scream he lets out makes the entire pub rumble. I can't help but wince. Ye crown jewels, what have you done? Bro, <laughs> and the other pirates stop by for a moment. We all just watch the captain collapse on the floor with the loudest of thuds. Captain's down. What have you done to him? Use the trigger again, the quarter retracts. Suddenly feel a rush of excitement while I for the first time since I started this job. Quick what Rell say. Same as I'll do to you if you don't surrender, crux. Aim at the pair in the big hair and they both raise their arms above their head. I don't want no trouble. Just, just arrest us. The grim for the chameleon, but he's nowhere to be found. How did he get away so fast? And over the gown now. <laughs> Just do as he bloody asks. Ahab yeah, is still limping on the floor, clutching his crotch tight. Captain. No one ain't beating you, beat me fair and square. Smile was right by my weak point. Conventional one in this case. Shmail sheepishly ducks by the counter, taking out a white watertight capsule normally used for deliveries. Hands it over me, avoiding eye contact. 
Because I'm thinking to the end of all of these alarms, it's pretty late. Better not be trying to pull a fast one on us. <laughs> it's the real deal, Cotton's word. Don't think he's lying. Don't grumble at me. Your dogs ain't getting off so easy. I you won't be so lucky next time, Hound. That's what you said last time, too. You want to join the boss on the floor? No. He yelps and staggers back. Other than every inch of my body art, I'm feeling pretty good right now. Be a lesson to you scoundrels, just as always prevails. Instead of stealing art, start of learning the art of sharing. Need to work on your catch raise of a good effort. Oh boy. That was a lie. That was a fucking lie. Jesus Christ, mate. At least the money talks down is almost back where it ought to be. As well, that ends well. This has been one of the longest, most tiring days of my life. Strangely, also one of the most rewarding. We got this morning, I think I'd be facing out an entire pirate current actually to tell the tale, much less win. Uh, uh, really quick thinking. I feel really hungry. I need to eat after this. Maybe this is just the right career path for me after all. You did great out there, Spot. So did you. I mean, I saw you work back at the store, but I had no idea you could fight like that. I just think Jimmy's easily as they do to you. I just got lucky. Believe me, I took years of my- it took literally my years. It took years of my little beaten living time before I was even halfway decent at fighting. Great, something to look forward to. You'll get there as a matter of confidence and sticking to it. Now just basking the feeling of a job well done. That's what it's supposed to feel like. I think your job didn't give me any satisfaction, so it's pretty new to me. Confidence, huh? Something you will deal with time. Well, you made it. Even I celebrate it when the job is well done, yes. You may have made innumerable bad decisions today. Form is still sloppy. Teamwork needs improving. But you fought like champion. I had a hat. I'm like, I already used to his strength. He could squish me like a grape if he tried. Sit down, Hound, Mr. Dusk Hound. Mimi. I'm ever so relieved to see you came back alive and unharmed. I wouldn't say unharmed. I'm going to be feeling this for days and not weeks to come. And you brought the cow with you as well. I think we do manage to get that fruit to relinquish it. I don't think we'll bother with you again anytime soon. I should hope not. I think it's about time we put the gown back in the mannequin, wouldn't you say? Chris is the button the water type cash we bought we brought back from Ayab's place. But a smoke wafts out from it so thick I can barely see through. Oh, of course, it was a trap. Much less breathe, it's like someone ducked an entire perfume store in there. Or I'll last while coughing. Hey, I'm sure it's a fail for the dramatic golly. Pot meat kettle. I was gonna say that myself. When the smoke clears of your fennec gasp. It's empty! Shit. Empty? What are we going to do? They have dupe us? I don't think so. Hold on a moment. Rel reaches the container and fishes out a small card, not like the calling card from earlier. It's bright pink with gold lettering all over it. The front is so fun and so ornate, it's almost illegible. It's a business card. Kamu. Does this ring any bells? Flashes it to me. Pretty sure I remember a name like that. Hold on, the chameleon. You disappeared after the flight of the bar. You must have switched the capsule out when you weren't looking. And even before that. Ah, uh, yes, the rap scowling you tongued me. Phrasing. I believe I wrapped his tongue all the way around my. <clears throat> I do remember a chameleon gentleman working the temp agency I hired, but down his fat. Can you contact them? I've been trying, but the number is no longer in use. Must have been a sham from the start. In more ways than one, even double crossed Ahab. I wonder how the syndicate came across them, but we can interrogate them. They have. I will look into the matter further at base. Suggest we convene a morning and discuss new findings. I'm sorry we failed you, Miss Fenner. Just bring it back, please. We will. You have our word. Tap my chin as gears start turning in my head. Hmm. It's the wrong spot. Nothing. I think I have an idea where to start looking for information. Reach for the scrap paper gap game where everything went to shit. Still a well from the water to adventure earlier, but the number is legible. I shoot him a text. What are you doing? A little personal investigation. 
kill with the non Minamina, but they have get a text back right away. Bingo. I'll be at base tomorrow morning. Alright. Alright, I suppose I'll look into security for camera footage around town. He's bound to have shown up somewhere. The Olive One mission. Olive mission. The only thing left is to execute it. We'll fly on that gamma defender, don't you worry. I trust you will. Peace. Take care. Looks a little defeated, but a smile tugs at her lips. That this long day finally draws to a close. Oh boy, you're gonna go on a date with Ahab to get info. That's what you're doing. Yep, you are. You fucking, you f you have balls of steel. After changing one of the bathrooms, I say goodbye to Ryle and Milo and get to what we're in and I agree to meet. As much as I don't want to right now, I should really give Lou a call. Hope to God they haven't caught every new station in town. Or worse, told Will to them down. Takes them less than a second to answer. So, you can finally tell- So, you finally gonna tell him what's going on with you? Because that sure didn't look like cleaning to me. What the hell have you been getting into? Sorry, Lou, my life's just been a blur for the past week. Pretty sure I was supposed to give all here everything a secret. Well, you did a splendid job. Yeah, I really botched that. Technically being sworn to secrecy was more implied than outright stated. Look, Myro, Milo, uh, the big roost crow you met, told me to invite you to meet up so we could explain what's going on. Oh, well, alright, but I've already got three blog posts ready to go and I'm gonna need a reason, good reason not to post them. Because I said please? You drive a hard bargain? Maybe you told me. When you told me you found a new job, uh, I never thought it would involve spandex. Neoprene. I faint a cough. What? It's mostly neoprene, actually, and some advanced foul weather. You know how ridiculous that sounds, right? I don't know, I still can't really believe it myself, being honest. I'm just... just worried about you, Alex. That Milo guy was really laying into your friend while you were unconscious. It didn't sound like either you were thinking things through very carefully. Yeah, my boss is also sort of new at this, but hey, the pay is better. I made a brush aside the issue. But all I can say for now is I feel like I made a difference today. Like I'm maybe sort of starting to leave myself. I know I got in the gown back in the end, but I kicked the crime boss ass. Neymar looks at me funny, lower my voice. I mean, I, I took care of things. Uh -huh. How many times you almost died today? Only three times. Still learning. Uh -huh. Listen, just count the anniversary party at the hand tomorrow, okay? I'll bring Milo and Ra I mean the boss, so we can explain the whole thing. Hey, but you owe me big time. I'll babysit you for as much as you want. Deal. Oh, Jesus Christ. I already don't- I really don't like them. They're a terrible character. After texting Max will be home late, I yawn, the rest of my hands in my pockets. It's chilly out, just a few degrees colder than this, and I'd have to put on gloves. Crowds of people have asked me by, I'm most likely none of them aware of what happened today. I wonder if it'll show up on the news, I mean we did kind of wreck that bar. Oi lad, there you are! They have a busy spot. Aside from the giraffes, he's basically the tallest in the crowd. Walks on over. No, it's more like he hobbles over. Guess he's still recovering. I don't know where to start. How do you even approach a mob boss? She smacked in the balls with a grappling gun. My illustrator can exactly cover that. Or I can make him mind that he's already close the distance. Swallow, I don't think I'll ever get used to how big he is anytime soon. Hope you didn't wait too long. We've been dealing with some uh, workplace issues. Oh no, I just got here. Grand! Crickets. So, there too. Think of having a few drinks down at the pub and seeing where the night takes us. Be it your place or mine. Someone's confident. Why the cook might have cocked up at work, but that don't mean the ship's sinking anytime soon. Oh boy. Things in close, real close, some whispers in my ear. They'll look better without the mask, laddie. Ah, oh, boy. So you do know. Smart not to, you don't change your voice or anything. Got all those spots. You beat the Dalmatian was on the news and Ishmael robbed that little old lat slight. There's not to put two and two together once I saw you with Dunhound. See, I knew that face blurring did nothing. And you still came? What can I say, you're cute. 
Don't think I can't see a little tailier's wagon the way there. Shit at his wagon. It was, I'm surprised you called, you called at me, especially that woman down at the bar. Surprised you wanted to know I'm here, you know? I'm trying to adjust to his groin. I was just still drawn to it. <laughs> this is a mere occupational hazard. We simply fly in different flags that time. Nothing personal, I'm sure, that because, because she, besides, she got, she just got lucky. We creamed you guys. Still be shit at the gallery. That's the scores one to one, then. And <laughs> that time we don't kick your booty in the dirt, no mistake. Surprisingly, I beat about the whole thing. I have some questions I wanted to ask you, actually. Well, I'd be versatile, but I lean towards bo- He- There's no way he bottoms. N n not that. The gown's missing. What? Seems surprised I was. One of your henchmen took it. I didn't know where he could be. So that's why Kamu scurried off like a duck rat. Conscious his jaw as he softly growls the name. Do you have any information on it? He chuckles. Aye, I do. Spill it. You'd be no friend of mine, but I'll need, I'll need some convincing before I talk. I can be very persuasive. Pretty little face like that, I'd be certain of it. Let me fit around at the pub. You're on. Oh boy. <laughs> if they start dating. If they start fucking dating. Oh my god, it's over. That's not fair. You don't do that. You don't bait me with that. That's cool. Um. Fucking wow, though. Cooking with Max? The fuck? What a. Oh my god. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? Ishmael. What the fuck? Fuck you. Why is this a thing? Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh my god, no. You guys are friends. Oh shit. Oh fuck. What the fuck, dude? No. I don't understand why this is in here. Like, I don't get why this is in here. What does this even do? Oh, 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 oh. That's why it's here. Hey, Max, I'm home. And so is this guy I brought with me. Bring me to one of my videos. I got Alex, dudes. Wait, Ishmael's here? Spotty's here? Well, I'm sensing some bad vibes here. Ishmael, what be you doing here? Come? Listen, I will be in my room. If you hear any weird noises, I got a new gang. No yeah, problem, I wanna come in and slice the cake later. Sounds it, that be some mighty fact. No, heavens no, we're okay, bye. <laughs> And he's gone. Well, you arenos, it was worth a try. He smelled that. Oh, the sun is the, the cake is burning. Oh boy. Oh boy, the drama. The drama. The drama. Oh boy. <laughs> there she fall. Oh my god, wow. Okay, so you're telling me that that dude is a f actually yeah I ca they they had to make him a bottom. There's no fucking way that they yeah. No fucking way. Okay, everybody. Well, that was the second update of Glory Hounds. And holy fucking shit! What a what a fucking update.
um, it's like they're like mini separate. They're, it's like actual comics where they have a new story every time. Um, the art, amazing. The style, amazing. The presentation, great. The characters are really cool. The fucking writing is just really good as well. And the fact that they like put Dutch in the background as well. And they actually put Dutch in like the places around except the museum and whatever. That's also a cool detail, keeping it more realistic. And uh, I got to I got to understand some things that most of you won't because I know Dutch. I guess I'll see you in the next video. That was really fun. That was a really fun day. This is a really fun update. This is a really fun day. Bye bye motherfuckers. I'll upload this and put it unlisted. Bye bye.